Hello gaming fans as well as my amazing YouTube subscribers and welcome to the very first live stream of Gold Rush. Been a pretty busy day for me today so far so I'm just now being able to get into it. I'm gonna go and look at the settings because I know they actually changed quite a few things in here and then gave you the option to be able to change some of them so let's go ahead and I wanted the default that's weird they don't actually give you the option in here I can't see the option in here for running always <laughs> because I don't like walking around so slow it's ridiculous uh, and I don't want to push the button either because I'm lazy there you go default player movement so I can change that to run I finally got used to that then they try to take it away from me make the default walk oh for crying out loud gonna fix that again gonna fix that up again what is up man Welcome to the live stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, I just had it. I forgot where it was at. Oh, there it goes. There it is. Apply, apply, apply. Let's see what happens. There we go. All right. Excellent, excellent. So I am here with the dump truck. They actually lowered the price, which I'm excited about. I was really worried at the beginning uh, because they had mentioned in one of their live streams that they were going to uh, charge like $160,000. And those of us who play the game know that's really hard to come up with. Now, $150,000 is not that much cheaper, but it's still cheaper, <laughs> right? So here's the dump truck, and I have bought it. I have not purchased it yet. Uh, so you guys will be able to see that with me at the same time I do. And then these are the other things that they added in. Oh, oh, that's a different one. Okay, so you have the uh, container here, and you actually dump your uh, dump truck load into here, and then it goes up to this conveyor belt and into the uh, the shaker. So that is pretty much what you have. All of it was pretty expensive to buy, like everything else. So the conveyor belt was 120, uh, 120000 and then the container was another 15000 which is crazy, crazy. Thanks, Mino. Appreciate it, dude. So let's go ahead and buy all this stuff. And you'll be able to see. I think I already paid for it. So we just had to move it. I think I'm in uh, Pine Valley. Rivertown, I mean. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get it all moved over to Rivertown. All right, so Rivertown. Then I could go to storage space. Conveyor belts. Conveyor belts. Dump truck. All right, there we go. All right, so now we got to head over to Rivertown. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why that thing opened up. We got all my uh, all my junk in the trunk, as they say. <laughs> I didn't take it all out. I, uh, I ran into an issue, guys, uh, and I think we all kind of have to deal with that from time to time. But uh, my my game crashed. Like, my truck... <laughs> Disappeared. I was I was at the uh, the store in my my previous game, and all of a sudden, like I went, I decided to try out the uh, the jack. So I do not recommend until they finally add in like repairing and stuff. I do not recommend adding uh, trying to use the jack on your truck because my truck flat out disappeared, and I did not get it back. So. I kind of lost about three hours worth of work <laughs> that I had put in. So I would not recommend using the jack until they finally add in the repairing of the different things. And uh, that's just my suggestion. You guys can do with it what you want. But uh, that's what I would suggest. It's a little bit crazy. I know, Mino. You know, it's, it's, it was really sad. Especially with all that work gone. Especially with all that work, man. Oh, the, the grinding out, trying to get all that gold and stuff. Ugh. Broke my heart. Broke it. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Monday. It's exciting. I mean, it's not near as ex nearly as exciting as a Friday. I'm not going to uh, try to play that up a little bit. Anybody have anything uh, exciting going on while I'm driving? Feel free to use the chat. Thank you, Hannah. All 
All right, so I am pulling up here shortly. Yeah, I, I had to work a lot today, and I decided uh, just kind of out of the blue, uh, my wife and I were heading home, and I was like, you know what? I want to go live. You know, it's got the got the new update with the the dump truck and everything else, and so I was excited to uh, to actually get on and you know do what I've been enjoying doing. So uh, let's go ahead and park this bad boy, and then I've got to get the chains out. Oh, it's gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've not. I haven't. I don't like using the shaker. Uh, you know. I don't know how many of you guys actually like using the shaker, uh, moving the shaker around and stuff. Oh man, I have so much trouble. And look at the size of this thing. Like really? Like oh man, I don't even know. I don't even know if the. How do you? Oh man, I'm assuming you still use the same stuff, like cables and stuff. Anybody know? Anybody currently watching know? Because <laughs> I have no idea, man. Ah, uh, this is going to be interesting. I don't know if the excavator can carry it. I would assume it should be able to. I guess it can right here. Wow. That is crazy. A little ridiculous. Where am I at? There we go. Oh, man. So I'm basically just going to be hooking up these cables. I sure hope that this uh, excavator is actually going to be able to lift this up. I mean, I've had trouble even with the uh, even with the shaker. I end up having trouble getting it lifted up in the air and off the ground, especially down here. There's this huge dip. So I end up going across this little ridge over here to the shaker. But I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't really have high hopes for myself in this whole thing but we shall see shortly I mean this thing is massive absolutely massive so there are a couple of things uh, that did come out with the update obviously you have the uh, the two items over there that we purchased a little bit ago the dump truck I want to see if they went ahead and added this other item in which was going to be they were going to be removing one of the blue uh, power ports over here and adding it, which they did. So now you have four of these and five of the yellow ones, which is really nice, especially for those of us who like to have, um, you know, extra lights and stuff. That's going to help out a lot with that. Uh, one thing I was not wanting to do is run a lot of extra cables and generators just to satisfy my need for light at night. So I am glad they added that. Let's see, what else do I need? I wish they would turn the rotating up a little bit. It's slow as nothing, man. All right, so. Let's see, we got it here. All right, plug in. All right, so here we go. I'm going to go with the big guy first. Might as well go big or go home. That's what I got to say. All I got to say. I don't remember how to use these buttons. Which is sad, because I use them all the time. There we go. All those new keys they've added in. Alright. Here we go. Oh, that thing is so huge. I wonder if I come in at it from the side. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of hover it right here so I can start hooking up some of the cables. I think right about there. So I'll go ahead and start hooking up the cables. Is it still too? Nope. Let me go ahead and try that again. Let me go ahead and lower that down a little bit. A little bit lower. There we go. That should be good. I would assume so anyway. Alright, connect that one to that one. This one. To, and I went ahead with a smaller or shorter 
a cable. So hopefully that will, you know, give it some extra oomph. Come on. I gotta really sneak it in in here. I'm glad it can't do damage. <laughs> I really am. That would be tough. All right, come on. I'm gonna have to hit it right at the top. Nope, missed it. Lame. Lame, lame, lame. Let's see. Forget it. I'm gonna have to figure something out here. Lower that. I don't need that stuff. Go ahead and pull, pull forward. Oh no! Freaking noobville over here. I'm gonna try to lower it as low as low as I can, man. But I need a step stool. That's what they should make in this game before they do anything else. Make a freaking step stool. Like really? <laughs> there we go. At least I can jump on it now. I'll take it. I will take it. All right, let's go. There we go. Nailed it. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Pearl of... Oh. Actually, it wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Oh, my gosh. This thing is huge, man. Oh, well, I guess I didn't have too big of a an issue getting off the ground. I actually assumed it would have a little bit bigger of an issue. Thank you, Clorox. Appreciate the, uh, the info. I still probably need to do it a little higher because it's looked like it's struggling a little bit. Luckily, it just snaps into place, right? But I think I'm going to be coming in on a different side, so I'm going to have to kind of turn around. I mean, I don't really know uh, how to load the dump truck. I, I really don't. I have... I'm going to be taking the excavator out and then just dumping it in the back. I assume that's the way it works. That seems like the most logical choice and explanation to me, but I don't know. With this sort of thing, you never really know. All right, so I am coming in on a different side, so I'm going to have to rotate it, come back in from... If I turn right here and then start moving backwards... Yeah, see, I haven't, like I said, I was out doing other things all day, man. This is the first time I've actually even been able to see it. You guys have seen it about as much and as long as I have, so. There we go. Now I'll just go ahead and back it in. At least I hope so, anyway. Hey, who put that loader there? The inconvenient spot, man. Well, come on, get in the air, there you go. I mean, so inconvenient, like, really? <laughs> it's right there in the way! Uh, who would have thought this would have been going right here? I guess I should have. But that really does explain, I've always wondered, since the very beginning, I've always wondered, like, why these little, you know, wooden planks were here. I always put my, uh, my generator and my fuel tank there, because I was like, there's no need for anything else, but I'm glad they finally gave it a purpose. Yeah, I agree, Mino. Definitely agree. Definitely agree. Uh, how many of you guys have tried the new update? You guys feel free to use the chat. I'm seeing a couple of the same people. Get those uh, other people watching. They get in here. Introduce yourselves. We're all friendly. Most of the time, anyway. Most of the time. All right, so I'm about to pick up this little guy. This is what you dump the bucket into. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a good point, Mino. Good point. Oh, that's not the... Where do you hook it? I mean, I see these two points, but where is the uh, the ones in the back? Is this it? 
Well, that's gonna be interesting. Oh, there they are. I guess if I looked around, that'd actually help, huh? Alright, so where's my other one? There it is. Got it. Oh, what the world? I hate it when they go through the walls. It's such a pain. That would be too short. I think I can get it with just three cables anyway. I'm not really that worried about it. it. Might not be pretty, but hey. It's better than trying to fidget with that thing. Yeah, I noticed that too, Clorox. <laughs> it's definitely, definitely longer. I think I ran out. I think I snapped some of the others. It's sometimes, you know, you'll it'll drop and then it'll get hung up on some of the weirdest stuff man and then all of a sudden you just hear that that chain snap and you're like crap man what am I gonna do with this what in the world am I gonna do with this it's frustrating all right so I'm about to dump this little guy here now they also adjusted the the wavetable in this last update and they also adjusted the amount of uh, gold that your employees find uh, which actually made me really really sad because it's hard I mean you're out here grinding for hours and hours on end and they flat out made it to where your people don't make as much as they usually do which is very sad very very sad and I'm hoping that this uh, loader is actually going to be fixed from here on out. I don't really know. I think it's, like I said, uh, mentioned, you know, we've got, you know, quite a few people in here now. I mentioned earlier that yesterday I was playing for a couple of hours and I went to go jack up the truck and with the, uh, the jack, right? <laughs> I had to go figure. And all of a sudden my truck disappeared and I, it was nowhere on the map. I couldn't use it anymore. And so here I was trying to you know find it and I couldn't find it so I end up having to pretty much start over uh, pretty much load my previous game file and you know do it all over again it was very sad very sad so you know I've had to deal with that and at the time this loader was not working well for me I would go try to dump and it would be a um, it would just dump like halfway. It wouldn't dump all the way. And I guess the, the loader was glitched out. Because I don't know if you, any of you guys watch my videos that I make. But uh, I I did not buy this loader. I honestly have no idea whether it was aliens or something else that decided to bring me a new loader. But it sure did happen that way. I have no idea. It, it just showed up and I think it's all glitched out. All right, so let's go ahead and take these guys off. I'm just going to go ahead and place them down here. I'm not a neat person. I should be, but I don't really care about it too much. As long as I know where they are whenever I need to get them, that's really all that matters. This one right here is the longest one. I'm going to kind of hang it out to the side. There you go. And then put this one right here. Maybe I'll find another one. All right, so I'm going to leave that excavator running. And I think... I'm gonna go ahead and get the bolt, the uh, the new dump truck, which I have not actually driven yet. So this is gonna be neat. Uh, Mino, there's a couple of others uh, that I want to uh, to play. Uh, it won't be tonight. I think tonight's just gonna be uh, this game here, and then uh, you know probably later on this week or something I'll be doing some more live streams if I can uh, get around to it. Oh, good. They added, man, they added the differential lock on it. I like it. So it rotates in the middle, kind of like the loader does, which is nice. I wonder what kind of items they have that's going to break on it. Anybody know in the, uh, that is, you know, they're currently watching the stream. Do you guys happen to know what parts gonna, are going to break? Feel free to put that in the, uh, the chat form, because I honestly have no idea. All right, this seems like as good of a spot as any. Well, let's go ahead and dig it out here a little more. All right, so I'm just gonna park this bad boy right up here. 
go ahead and put the brake on. All right, so that is it. So basically what's going to happen, uh, those of you guys that are just coming in, I'm going to be loading up the uh, dump truck and then it's going to dump in here. I actually need to hook up the power. All right, so we have blue. Oh, man, this one takes blue. That's going to be... That's going to... Oh, no. Uh, one, two. And they took away the blue. Oh, man. That's going to be interesting. Oh, I still have two. Okay, we're good. We're good, people. We're good. Don't worry. I know you guys had a mini panic attack. I didn't. I was I, I was strong. But you guys, I know you guys struggled a little bit for that. So, I need to hook up blue. And I should have another one somewhere around here. Hopefully. Oh, man. I've got so many cords going everywhere. There's nowhere to put them. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and hook up this one first. There we go. And, you know, you don't really, it doesn't hurt anything to drive over it. If it did, I would be throwing a fit. Really? <laughs> really? Like, that can't be, like, three feet longer? Are you kidding me right now? Can I, can I pull it tighter? Let's see if I can pull it tighter. There we go. There we go. Nice. Somebody actually mentioned that in one of the... Uh, the videos on you know in the comments of the videos and that was really nice I'm glad they did that because I honestly did not know you could pull it tighter I really didn't I've got cords all over the place that would actually be nice to not have to do so or that I could pull tighter if I needed to all right so I've got crap everywhere man I went ahead and bought a bunch of useless stuff that I don't think I'll even need just strictly because it's such a pain to drive all the way to the store I mean, you're losing money every minute when you're paying people, you know? So, man, I just left everything going. I act like I'm rich over here. All right, so I've got 88% battery left on that. All right, so I don't know what the best way to do this is. I'm going to try to... Well, get down, dude. Get down. Probably just the same. I wonder if I could sneak in between here. Oh, oh, yeah. That'll work. And I'll just pull it tighter over here if I can. There we go. Look at that sucker tightening up. Nice. Very, very nice. All right, so both of those should have power as soon as I turn them on. Let's go ahead and here. All right, let's go ahead and turn all this on. Why not? Of course, I'm not hearing anything. Oh, I kind of assumed I would hear something powering on, but you didn't. It was just kind of there. All right, well, let's go ahead and bring the excavator out and see what this uh, dump truck can do. The sound is a little weird. Uh, they apparently fix a lot of some of the sound issues, but now I can't even hear it as much. Oh, nice, Dan. Welcome aboard. Welcome back to the UK. I actually have uh, some of my best friends that I play, like GTA and stuff on, uh, from the UK. So that's awesome. I also work with a lot of people from the UK, so that's excellent as well. well this what, it sounds so weird. I mean, it's like sounds like it's just puttering along. I don't like the fact that this doesn't have any sort of power either. That's just something we've had <laughs> since day one. Oh, really? Well, Daniel's a really common name, to be honest. I mean, you know, when I was younger, I actually wanted to go by Scott for the longest time. I really did, because that's my middle name is Scott. So I was like, man, everybody's got the name Daniel, so I'm going to try to be different. It never, it never caught on. Never, never caught on. Oh, man, this, uh, of course, this is the bigger one, so I'm actually surprised it's as slow as it is. But, all right, so this is a good spot as any to go ahead and start scooping down here. I was uh, considering, I was considering using the uh, the wheel cam and stuff, 
uh, for the uh, you know being able to use the the wheel and pedals. I don't know if you guys. I've got some of the videos that I've posted that are uh, wheels and pedals uh, to where I'm actually using all of that stuff, which is it's really cool. I like using that. But oh, that's cool. They actually added the animations. I don't remember seeing that before. How many of you guys like this view? What do you guys end up using whenever you guys, you know, start dumping, you know, loads and stuff like that, even you know, into the, the like the wash plant and stuff. See you later, Mino. Hey, before you go, Mino, can you put our Discord server in the link in the chat in case anybody wants it? If you get a chance. I don't know if he's gonna have a chance. Ah, uh, this is a weird. Uh, oh, this is weird. I'm gonna have to change the view here. So yeah, so what what views do you guys use whenever you guys are using the uh, like this excavator and stuff? Well, I don't know. I kind of like it. It's kind of growing on me. Thanks, Mino. I haven't used it in a while because it's been kind of difficult to use. But really, I can use the uh, the front end loader as well, which will be nice. I ain't getting nothing in my scoops, man. I got to do better than this. At least if I'm making a video, I can make it <laughs> seem like I'm doing a good job. <laughs> oh, man. There you go. That's a better one. I tell you what, it can actually load quite a bit, which is nice. I was kind of worried it was going to be like you know just a couple of different, you know, buckets full, and then that was going to be it. But luckily for us, they actually did a really good job on it, and it can actually take quite a quite a load. There you go. I don't think it tells you how full it gets. So I am also in the the best from you know the instructions in the game. Uh, I am in the best uh, parcel of land at the moment. So I should be getting more gold than you know previous parcels and uh, some of the other parcels. I believe so. Anyway, I'm also using a PS4 controller. There we go. See you, Mino. Have a good night, man. Now, someone wants to work for me. Tell you what, they have a lot of lazy people. <laughs> I'll hire some of the laziest people ever for some reason, man. Like they want to work like three hours. I'm like, really? Come on. I need you to work like ten hours. At least eight. Put in a good day's work. At least I think they should. I don't know if that's crazy of me. All right, so is there no... It doesn't really tell me if it's full or not. Do I just keep going and it'll eventually... I'm making you dizzy? I'll change it. Is this better? I don't mind this view either. Uh, that's a good question. I don't know if it is possible with a PS3 controller or not. I've got one. I can always try it out. See, I can't even see where I'm at. Can I... I don't know. That was going to be the same dizzy. I should be able to... Why can I not move it around the free camera? Oh, it's because I'm in drive mode. That's why. I guess I can do this. This shouldn't be too bad. Should not be too bad at all. Oh, man. Come on. What's this thing doing? It won't actually move for me. Come on. What is it? Is it stuck on something or what? What was it stuck on? 
That's weird. But I don't know. I really don't know. This game has so many quirks. It's kind of hard to know them all. It has so many quirks that it's just one of those things that you just kind of have to deal with it. But luckily, I really like the game. I think it's an awesome game. It does take a little bit of getting used to, and you kind of have to get used to some of the, the stupid stuff that happens. Like, you know, a truck disappearing out of nowhere, just flat out falling off the world. Oh, man. I'm not used to this view either. All right, well, I think that's full anyway, so now that I've made an idiot of myself, I'll go ahead and jump on the inside of this bad boy. I hope someday, I know they were talking about, uh, you know, making, like, more vehicles and stuff like that. What's up, Dan? Glad you can make it. Uh, why is it dumping? What the world? Okay, so... Oh my gosh, really? So it starts off... Well, that didn't work out well for me. That did not work out well for me at all. We should have a Dan party. <laughs> Tons of Dan's and Daniels in here. Of course, I think that's why people like my channel. Oh man, I should watch the sh watch the game instead of the stream. Sometimes I get so focused on what you guys are saying, I forget to actually pay attention to the game. All right, so apparently it decided to be to start off already dumping, so I did lose like half my load. All right, so it's all in there. Oh, that's cool. Look at the buckets. This is so old school looking. You know what I mean? Like, you would think they'd have, like, higher tech type of stuff. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see what all of my stuff down here is doing. That's uh, the Trommel. Let's see. Yeah, see, whenever all of that... <laughs> when all of that was broken the other day... It was, I had all of this 100% full, finally. And, yeah, it didn't work out very well for me. I still can't figure out, if you guys happen to know, I know there's quite a few of you guys in here watching. If you guys happen to know what's going on with my wave table, I bought a new one. Oh, they fixed it. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, never mind. No worries. Yeah, so before, I could not get it to have water in it. If you guys watched like my, my most recent video, I could not for the life of me get it to actually turn on. It was showing that it had no water, so that's good. And I kept you know playing with all of the buttons and turning the valve on and off and stuff like that, but I'm glad it's actually working now. It's with that recent update. I know they adjusted some of the stuff on the wave table, so maybe that's what fixed it. I don't know. Oh man, it's starting to get dark outside. I might. I might try to sleep. I don't like working at night. I know it's really hard, especially for people that are like on um, mobile and stuff. I know a lot of people have some issues with, uh, you know, being able to see. Man, that's really cool. This thing actually has enough power. You know, usually if you're on the loader or the front end loader or any of the other equipment, this little mound would make you not able to move. So that's sad. I'm going to go ahead and run over here just really quickly and sleep until dawn. And then we will uh, pick it back up then. I do need to actually order some more fuel as well because I've got 9% in there. It's just all the money I had at the time because I started moving stuff around and starting a new place and here and there. I've actually I actually have all three parcels at the moment. And I have about 10 people working for me. And you can see they're making some some money up there for me. However, my money's actually going down. They're making some gold for me. I guess that would be a little more. Okay, so I like this view. I'll take this view. I will take this view. Oh, that was weird. Did it go through the truck? Uh, 
Velron, I hope I'm saying that right, and I didn't just botch that. It is not yet. I think the main reason being is they are trying to get all the bugs out of the PC version. And then here soon, I do know it is in the pipeline for being released on uh, PlayStation. It's just one of those things that I think, I really do think it's just the bugs. You know, they, they released the game. They were given pretty much a deadline uh, by the Discovery Channel that was like, hey, you need to release this game by this time. And so they tried their best to do that. The only problem is, is whenever they released, it had a lot of bugs and stuff with it. So it is coming out, and I think it's actually going to be coming out rather soon. Uh, but they'll just have to port it over to PlayStation after they uh, you know, fix all the bugs and stuff with the PC version. Because all the stuff that they're releasing now, like uh, this dump truck and stuff like that, these were all part of the the Kickstarter campaign that were included. So you basically, if we, as the, the community, if we invested a certain amount of money into the Kickstarter campaign, they would make certain vehicles available. And so that's what they ended up doing. I don't know what's going on with this thing. I'm not going to stay in this view for long, but I might have to move the dump truck closer. I actually want to try it with the loader as well. I think the loader would actually be pretty neat. Let me go ahead and move this dump truck a little closer. I don't... I think it's just my uh, my bad doing there, but... Let's go ahead and fire this puppy up. So what do you guys think of the new update so far? I don't know if any of you guys have the game, if you guys played and stuff like that, but I really like it. I think it's needed. I definitely think the dump truck is needed because driving the loader back and forth is really frustrating. And, you know, it just takes a long time to get stuff done. So I'm hoping that, you know, having this loader will kind of alleviate some of that problem. So, let's see what we got here. See if this is better. Well, I don't know. To me, it looks like I can't tell if it's falling straight through or not. I don't know if you guys can see something different, but the way it kind of looks to me is that it's falling straight through the... I guess I need to come in this view here and just see. It doesn't look like it is. Well, this is trippy to do it from this angle. Everything's backwards. Oh, wow. That scoop full filled it up a lot. I will take it. I am excited for this update, though. I really am. I've been waiting for this one. And I was really sad that they had to postpone it because I was going to go live once they did uh, this last week, but they had to postpone it on Friday because they had, that was the original release date was Friday. And they, you know, had to postpone it for whatever reason. There you go. It's a good little scoop full. Oh, yeah. How many of you guys have this game? Well, I actually have a... Belron, uh, I have a PS4 as well. I play a lot of PS4 games. I love PS4, man. You know, I just... The reason... I play a lot of PC games, and the re main reason being is because just the uh, just the configuration and the configuration itself is uh, you know top notch you know being able to configure all the things you want to configure <laughs> hopefully we don't have any more <laughs> that would be funny if we had more people in the more Dan's or Daniel's in the stream So what do you think of the game so far since you bought it today? Like it? 
you know, it's interesting. A lot of people complain, you know, that, you know, it's not a finished game, this and that. And really, it's a $19 game. So it's not, you know, I've played, I've played games where I've paid, you know, twice that, three times that, and, you know, it ends up not being, you know, what I expected at all. And that, that in itself, for me, is, you know, worth, you know, whenever I'm playing this and I know that the developers are so, you know, into the game and stuff. Uh, Dan, I do not. Uh, you talking about on 5M, I presume? I think it would be cool. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. I do not play uh, yeah, LSPDFR on uh, multiplayer. It's just strictly me playing it. I love the game. I end up having a another issue with it, which is, you know, it's it's a mod, right? So it has its own issues uh, when every time the game has something going on with it, updates and stuff. Uh, so I do not do 5M, but uh, I will be, I want to be doing a live stream for LSPDFR. I think that would be awesome. I don't know if I'm supposed to, or if I'm, am I allowed to dump it all? Let's find out. Oh! Yeah, I can dump it all. That's good. I was kind of worried. It'd be like, oh, you're losing it. You're freaking losing it, game. So I got to say to that. Oh, man, my shaker's going crazy over here. more efficient this way. I'm not gonna lie, look at that. I'm going through some water though. Actually gotta try something I saw in a picture. And you guys are gonna be like, oh this guy's crazy and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. An infinite water source, which is fine because I already have one, but what well, what they did was they took a bucket, you know, the pail that you, you start the game with when you are actually panning for gold. They took the bucket and then dropped the the water uh, hose, this big the big water hose, into the bucket, and then you could literally have an infinite water source anywhere that you want. All you have to do is have that bucket. I don't know if that's going to be something they're going to fix soon, but if you guys have the game and you guys want like a, a water source out and about, you know, like you know, way over here on this mound or something like that. That's a good place to do it. Is just hook up a uh, hook up the the water to just the water pail. All right, so I am going to. It's unbelievable because, come on, man, get this little hill. Oh, did they? Uh, Christian, come on, man, <laughs> give me good news. <laughs> I think that would have been cool. I really, I wish they would have, oh, it was, Grant, thanks, appreciate it, guys. So, I wish, I do, I do wish they would come out with the, um, ah, what was I saying? Oh, the connectors for the hoses. You know, when you connect two water hoses together, that part makes sense to me. I don't understand why they forgot that you can do that. That's just weird to me that you, and... I know that that's kind of in the pipeline, but all right. So let's see if I can get this controls right here. It is on. What? Is, oh, it's loader or something else. Man, I have not played this game in a day, and I forgot how to play it already. Forgot how to play it. All right, time to find out if this is going to work. I would assume it would. Let's see how much we get out of it. Ah, oh, the loader doesn't stop moving. I should have used my, my brake. All right, so another thing for those of you guys, uh, if you guys have this issue, like later on when if you guys play the game, if you have a rogue, a rogue, a rogue loader just show up randomly. 
Uh, you kind of have to do some finagling to get it to work. I don't know why. I'm going to have to go ahead and get another one shipped. Oh, that's going to be bad. Let me have it. So the this loader is really glitched, and I don't know where it came from. And see, like, I'm stuck right now, and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm going to go ahead and reset it. But uh, it's... It's a, it just kind of comes out of nowhere. I did not buy this particular loader and I'm gonna have to get my other one shipped over here because this one gets glitched out and you can't dump the, 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 the bucket all the way. Apollo, yeah, I actually, I have mixed feelings on the multiplayer. I do think it would be awesome. I don't know if you guys play Farming Simulator or not, but Farming Simulator, you can have other people come in and they basically help you in the game. So I do think that would be really cool to actually have that uh, ability to be able to have other people come in and help you, especially since even though you have you hire people like employees and stuff, you don't actually get to see them move or anything like that. So I do think it would be cool. Personally, I do anyway. Let's see what do we have here. I need the front end loader from Pine Valley over to Rivertown. Actually, I've got to... Oh, so that stinks. So I've got to move this one over to... Uh, front end loader. Come on. There it is. Because you can't have... To my understanding, you can't have two on the same parcel of land. So I'm going to go ahead and move that one over here. So it's going to cost 3000 to get it switched over. And then the other one moved out of here. A player versus player? <laughs> <laughs> oh man that would be interesting so is it like to see how who can get the most the fastest or what I've actually heard people mention that before though like uh, having people oh these are new look at this so you have the gold recovery tent you have the hog pan dig site which is nice because it took me like an hour to find the hog pan site well, or the, uh, yeah, the hog pan. While I was driving all around the edges and stuff, looking for streams and where stuff would be. Wash plant, dig site, and then the trailer. That's really cool. They added all of those in this recent update as well. I do think the player versus player would be interesting. I don't know how they would manage to do that. And I know that they had talked about... I know that's... You know, it's always a big question, right? Anytime they come up with a game... Is it going to be multiplayer? And, you know, nowadays, it'd be hard to think that a game would come out that isn't multiplayer. But it does happen, unfortunately. Unfortunately. All right, so should be good to go with this loader, I think. We'll find out shortly. Try to keep it relatively flat. I don't like having a bunch of uh, rivets. And my parcels. There we go. That's a good scoop. All right, there we go. We'll put on that e brake. It's still sliding. Why is it still sliding? See, this is what the, a, a non-bugged loader looks like. <laughs> we can actually dump in the, uh, into the bed of the, the dump truck. Crazy, man. Some of the weirdest stuff. You know, and it, what's really interesting is whenever I got the game, when it like the first day it came out, like the first hour, and I was playing it. And I was like, man, you know, all these people were complaining about like the exploding trucks and all this other stuff. And I was like, that has yet to happen to me. We're talking weeks into playing the game and I had not had anything like that happen all of a sudden it was like a swarm of just constant things like that I was like man what do I get for opening my mouth what do I get uh, you mean, what do you mean by some bots They did mention in their last live stream that they were going to be, uh, they were considering having a, uh, you know, actual people driving around, which I do think would be nice. You know, because when you hire somebody, you don't actually ever see them. You just start getting gold, which isn't nearly as cool. 
I guess in my oh okay let's talk about so that's yeah in my in my opinion that's not nearly as cool but there you go oh yeah you know the thing is is people use the excavator but the uh, the loader has a lot bigger bucket on it it does it does now I can't dig down as deep but At least not right away. <laughs> Just dug the heck out of that thing, man. This thing seems to have more power. I think they slightly adjusted it and didn't tell us. But this uh, this loader seems to be a little bit more powerful. It's not getting stuck on as much stuff as it usually does. There we go. Make one more one more load, and that should be good. I've actually, when I was growing up, you guys might not know, well, if, unless you watch some of my other videos, I mentioned this in a couple of them where I actually grew up doing the same kind of stuff. Not gold mining, but it was a lot of rocks and stuff like that. So I was actually driving a loader like this. It was a lot bigger uh, than this one. But, uh, yeah, I started driving these when I was like eight or nine. It's a lot different with the controller. <laughs> That's why I use the control, like the uh, steering wheel and pedals and stuff. It's really not that hard to set up. And once I was able to get it all set up, I have the control panel and stuff like that that I was using. You guys should really check out that video if you guys like uh, wheel cams and stuff like that. And if you guys are new here, feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You guys will get some awesome content constantly. I've actually gained about uh, 150 subscribers in the past, like, two weeks, which has been awesome. Well, actually, last week, it's uh, 180 in the last two weeks. So. Oh, yes. I like the fact that you don't have to go slowly. You can just dump it all in there and get back to work. Get back to making some money. But yeah, so back to that, Paolo, I, I completely agree. I do wish you could find, like, actually see people. If I were to hire somebody on, like, let's say the bulldozer, they'd be out there doing something. I think that would be really cool. Like, even if they're just driving around looking like they're busy, I don't even care. I just want them to be doing something. Yeah, starting to make some, you know, and actually, I'm actually pulling out a lot more gold using the dump truck than I was running back and forth with the the loader, which is really nice. Really, really nice. So far, I really like this dump truck. I wonder, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and see if you've got to replace any of the batteries and stuff. Let's find out. Because I really don't know. I have yet to use it. All right, let's see here. None of that. Uh, any hydraulic hoses or anything that we'd have to fill up or replace? I would assume back here you'd have some sort of... What's it? Really? I don't see anything. I don't see anything so far that we'd have to replace. I bet you we're going to have to replace like wheels and stuff. Maybe they just haven't added that in yet. I don't know. I really don't know. Now let's go ahead and jump back in. Go start loading this puppy up again. I wonder if this thing can get stuck. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's not too bad. I want to... <laughs> we can't get damage on it, right? So let's, uh... Let's make a ramp. Right here. and see if uh, it gets stuck. Or what happens to it. Ah, just get stuck. It's kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for something, man. I saw this picture of a truck uh, in this game down in the city that was hanging from a freaking light post. And I was like, how in the world did you get it up there? It didn't make any sense, man. <laughs> I was like, that's crazy. 
I mean, you have to be doing something to get it stuck on a freaking light post. Of course, you know, probably doing something like I just did. More than likely what that is. All right, I guess I shut the engine off. That's unlike me. There we go. That's not a full load. I gotta get some more of that. Right, I gotta turn on the differential lock. There we go. There we go. You know, it is a lot easier if you, a lot easier if you uh, make sure everything is flat. If you start trying to, you know, leave a bunch of rivets and stuff in the ground, it gets really hard. You'll constantly get stuck, uh, which is where the bulldozer comes into handy. <laughs> Thanks, Grant. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. I really do like this dump truck, man. I think it's actually probably the best thing they came out with so far. I really do. Oh yeah, let's get another scoop. Get another scoop. I don't really, I don't know, you guys probably know with the, just the rocks. Like what do the rocks really do? Do they do anything or are they just like little boulders? I don't know. I, I've played this game, you know, hours and hours and hours, and I've always wondered. Uh, I missed. I missed. I've always wondered what the rocks really do, if they're or if they're just boulders that you, kind of one of those things that's just in the game that you just end up working around. I'm sure that's what it is, but. Let's see if I can do a better job this time instead of dumping it all over the ground. There we go. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. I wonder if they, I kind of feel like they adjusted some of the uh, the gold collection as well. I might be wrong, but I seem to be getting a lot more per load than I was getting beforehand. Come on, you can get out of this little hole. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, I almost had to give up. The preferred term is dirt nugget. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh man. All right, there goes that. Yeah, you know, it was funny. They the whole update was like six gigabytes. And I think the main part of that was DigTube. I kind of want to look in there here in a minute and find out what they added into that. Because this is really just a showcase of the... Whoa. This is really just a showcase of the you know, additions they added into the game. They're going all crazy there, man. So I'll go ahead and finish this load up, and then I'll go ahead and check on the dig tube, figure out what they have uh, added in there. Because it was obviously big enough for those videos. So hopefully there's enough in there. I don't know when they're going to add in the repairing. I think that's going to add a different element to the game as well. I know that they took it out because they were worried people weren't going to be able to repair stuff, and they'd have a lot of questions and... Which is kind of understandable. It, those of you guys that know when they get where, like how the game started and stuff, they had no tutorial. I was playing it the one day and I couldn't figure out how to do anything because they did not include a tutorial or what to do to get certain things and what you needed to do. There was nothing like that, so I'm sure that's why they did, you know took it out. But that's gonna be cool when you can actually start to because I already have all the parts. I kind of assumed I would need them, so when anytime I had some extra money, I went, uh, I went ham and bought a bunch of, bunch of stuff. All right, it is definitely full because I see all of the uh, dirt and stuff going around the dump truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and park this guy here. And I go ahead and shut it off. All right. 
go. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, this thing has a lot of power. I really like that. Of course, you know, it kind of has to with, you know, the bucket it has on the back of this thing. It's so weird, the, <laughs> the controls, because, you know, up and down are, you know, dumping the bed and then lifting it back up, right? So when you're trying to rotate, like turn left and right, you have to be careful, especially with the joystick, not to, you know, slightly go up and then all of a sudden you start dumping it out of the back. Just something to be cognizant of, I guess. All right, how's everything looking over here? I also like the fact that, you know, dumping it in the, the, the conveyor belt, you actually start seeing some of this stuff kind of happen because before, by the time you dumped, you know, all of the stuff into the shaker, it would already be through here when you got back down. So that's pretty neat. Pretty neat. All right, let's go ahead and check out DigTube real quick. Uh, that's not the right button. I do look forward to them finally releasing the Nighthawk parcel. I'm going to go there strictly because it's Nighthawk. But they actually have it blocked off, like right here and somewhere around here, uh, right here by the gas station. You can't get over here at all. So, now check out DigTube for a second. Uh, is there anything new? Uh, okay, so they went ahead and added the creeks in here. That's pretty cool. Right? Are we really going to watch them drive all the way there? I don't know if I. I'm definitely not. I mean, forget that junk. All right, stores and services, blacksmith, machine park. All right, so we are we know all that stuff. I don't really need to go through that. Anything else? I mean, they are they're actually going to drive all the way there. That is crazy. Okay, so all this I think is new. Yeah, all of this stuff is new. That's really cool. So you got the electricity, how to hook everything up, which is nice. I mean, even though you could probably figure that out yourself, you know, a little bit of time. Two pumps connected. I do wish you could fast forward, though. That'd be nice. That would be nice. Unique systems. Well, hiring workers. We already know all that. So I think the main ones are going to be, well, obviously the bulldozer. Not the bulldozer. The uh, dump truck here. Loading and unloading, that's you know, pretty normal. So I think it's just, you know, the electrical and you know the dump truck, obviously. Now, one thing that really kind of excites me is the fact that if you look over here to the right, you have a list of all of the machines. Now the drilling machine is not in here yet. So that is one of those that are uh, back at the machine park and that will be available pretty soon. I'm not I'm not really sure what it does. I assume it drills. <laughs> but I assume it, I would hope that at some point it would tell you like how much gold and stuff is around. I don't know. You know, if you were to drill, you just, you know, poke a hole and then it would kind of tell you, Oh, there's so-and-so amount of gold here, or, you know, there's no gold here or something like that. I don't know. All right. Well, uh, let's see. I think that's about it. As far as the update goes, we've already seen, I got to hook everything up. I got to see everything being connected as well as try out the new the dump truck, which I really do like. I really, really do. I like all of this stuff being set up. And, oh, it's still going. Wow. So it's still dumping that stuff in there. That's nice. So that means this is going to keep going. Let's go find out. Yeah, because that one was not at 19 beforehand. So uh, none of those were. So that's really cool. So it keeps going. Uh, but anyway, that's going to go ahead and do it for me tonight, guys. I do hope you guys continue to have a wonderful, wonderful week. And if you guys liked the video, make sure to go ahead and give it a huge, huge thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you to all of you guys who have taken time out of your day to join me and, you know, just learn something cool if you guys didn't know it, as well as make me feel nervous about how bad I was doing with the uh, excavator. But, you know, hey, sometimes you just got to be the idiot in the group. I'm okay with that. 
If you guys aren't already subscribed, feel free to go ahead and do that as well. But again, I do hope you guys continue to have a wonderful week, and I will see you guys in the next stream. See you guys later. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> I'm going to be doing more, I promise. I promise I will be. I, l I really like the, uh, the live streaming thing. Really, really did.